Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph again. Thank you for joining me on another episode of I Care. It's a great privilege and joy to me uh, for me to be able to come to you and share with you just brief snippets of the Word of God to encourage and strengthen you. And that's my aim. That's my purpose. That's what the Lord has given me, uh, this ministry in itself, to do just that. With just a short little message in order to, again, uh, just give you a good start for your day and uh, just to give you a good mm, kick. Amen so that you're ready for the day. Praise his name. Now, I have been talking to you about peace all week, but I'm going to shift on you right now. I am going to do this because this is what the Lord put in my heart to do. So I want to share with you about the fact that you have empowerment. You are empowered by the living God. The word of God declares that power shall come upon you after you have received the Holy Ghost. And so you have received the Holy Ghost, and therefore the power of God is working in you. Hallelujah. And so there's a great privilege. I want to say this to you again. It's a privilege for God to be to, to live in us. It's also a great responsibility. It's not just a privilege, but it's a responsibility because we have a responsibility watch this, to represent God well in this earth. Just like you have children and you send your children to school, you want your children to represent you well. You don't want them to tarnish your name. You want them to keep your reputation good and so forth. So God is the same way with us in the sense of the fact that he wants us to continually represent him well in this earth. And so I want to say to you again, you are empowered to do just that. Now, here's the thing about uh, the responsibility that God has given us. You know, the word of God declares that the earth is the Lord's and it says the fullness thereof. It's all God's. That includes you. That includes me. That includes everything in this earth. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So now, we have the responsibility of being stewards to manage this earth that the Lord our God has given us. That's not only to say to keep it cleaned up and so forth, but to dominate, to rule this earth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God has given that, that kind of authority to each and every one of us. So he owns everything, but he gives us the privilege, hallelujah, he gives us the privilege to host, hallelujah, what he owns. And not only that, but we have the great privilege of hosting the Holy Ghost. You know, the Bible says that you are not your own. You've been purchased with a price. Amen. And so that is telling us that we don't have control of our own lives, but our lives still belong to the living God. And he is the one that's to direct us and show us the way that we should go. Amen. <clears throat> so he has given us control. Listen, he's given us control of the house, but we need his help to control it. Amen. Now, Many times people say, well, God is in control of this and God's in control of that. Well, God's not in control of everything. Why? Not that he can't be, okay? But it's because he has given the control to you, to me, and to everybody else that's in this earth. And that's why the earth is in the condition that it's in, not because God's in control, but because men are in control. And men are the ones that have done terrible things against the earth. And it's a sad thing because everything that's beautiful we have to explore and tear it up. <laughs> God's not doing that. That's man doing that. Every animal that walks the earth, God's not killing these animals just to, to look at them dead. Man does that. Amen. I, you know, this is my kind of my little soapbox thing right there because I, I really hate to see things abused that God has made in this earth, the beautiful, lovely, awesome things that God has made in this earth. And so we are stewards of it. And so because we are stewards, guess what? We're going to be accountable for what we did with the earth that the Lord put us in control of. Isn't that an awesome thing? Or a terrible thing sometimes to think about, okay? <clears throat> now, the earth has always been God's, I told you that, but he has given it to humankind, to man. Now, <clears throat> we can only release God's rule to the degree, to the degree we are allowing God's rule to flow through us. If God's rule is not flowing through us, then we cannot rule the earth properly. Amen. Because we can only do it as, watch this again, as the God's rule is flowing through us. If God cannot uh, control or guide us and lead us, then we can't handle his power. And so we will, mis we will misuse it and, mis and abuse it. And so we don't want to be in that situation because, again, we are stewards of God's earth. We are stewards of all that God owns in this earth. Because remember I said, I said he said he, he owns everything, but he's given it to the children of men. And guess what? You are a child of a man. 
<laughs> Glory to God. And so now God has called us, when he, when he gave us this authority to do this, he has actually called us into a place of strength hmm? and wants us to walk in close fellowship with him because, again, he knows what to tell us to do to maintain his earth and to do the things that's necessary in this earth. Now, including ourselves. God knows what's necessary. God will teach us and show us what's necessary for a long life. He will teach us and show us what's necessary for a satisfied life. God is an awesome, awesome God, and there is no God like our God. Hallelujah. And he wants you to know, watch this, the joy of being good stewards of what he owns. That's why he also wants you to stay in perfect peace. This is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you for joining me. I care. <laughs>